Hi guys, Dr. Steve Hurst with the California Implant Institute. It's 2024. We're going to talk a little bit about the California Implant Institute's uh, free dental implant program. It has been uh, going now since 2012. We have a long track record of being able to provide patients. I think we, we just went over about 3,000 patients that we've treated since 2012. And what our program offers is free dental implants. Uh, we also will do extractions for you and we can also do uh, minor bone grafting. Um, major bone grafting we are, we're no longer offering. Uh, that's something that will have to take place with a specialist or with a dentist of your choice. But after the bone grafting is healed, then we are more than happy to uh, take a look and see if we can do the implants for you. We do not charge our patients for the implants or the extractions or the minor bone grafting. Why don't we charge? Doctors do not learn dental implantology in dental school. My oldest daughter just graduated from UCLA Dental School last year. Uh, go Bruins! And she's now working with this. Uh, she did not learn dental implants in dental school. No doctors are learning dental implants in dental school. They may be exposed to it a little bit, but dental implantology is something that doctors learn postgraduate after they graduate. So the California Implant Institute has been uh, providing um, dental implantology education since 2000, maybe slightly before that. We are very established in this field. Dr. Louis Alfarage was one of the first to uh, enter the, the live patient dental education field. Our average patient receives three implants. So do the math, we're, we're right around, you know, 9,000, 10,000 implants. We're able to provide this service because the doctors that want to learn dental implantology will come take our programs. And they're working with uh, our instructors who are all um, experts in the field of dental implantology. And uh, they are willing to compensate the California Implant Institute. And therefore we don't need to charge our patients. The old saying, there's no such thing as a free lunch. Um, I believe that's still true. Uh, we are compensated, but we're compensated on the doctor side of it. So we don't charge our patients. And that allows many patients to come to our program, have the dental surgery. By that I mean they can have the extractions, they can have the dental implants, minor bone grafting, at no cost. This allows them to keep uh, more finances for the other part of this program which is the, the dental restoration. Okay, that's the tooth that goes on the dental implant. Don't get confused, the dental implant is not the tooth. So if you come to our program and we provide the dental implants, then you still have a responsibility. Your responsibility is to find an office who will put the tooth on the implant. And that involves a tooth and an abutment. Think of the abutment as the middleman and that actually connects to the implant and then the tooth connects to the abutment, okay? So our program saves our patients the cost of the surgery, which is usually around half, maybe two thirds of the, of the whole uh, fee. That is what we are offering. We um, entertain doctors from all over the United States. Uh, we do have some doctors that come from Canada and occasionally we'll have uh, a few doctors who come from Australia. Um, these doctors are um, very motivated and they're uh, very interested in taking their time and leaving their offices, leaving their practices and investing in, in their skill set so that they can provide dental implantology to their patients. They're good doctors, all right? You, we don't see doctors that aren't really excited about dentistry come to this type of program because it's a commitment. So these doctors are, are good, all right? And, and we know that because we've been doing this now for so long and we've had literally hundreds of doctors come, come through our program. So the process works. When these doctors are signing up for our program, we are in California, we're actually in San Diego. And California has strict laws regarding who can actually 
treat patients in California. You need to be licensed in California if you want to treat patients in California. So in order for us to allow more doctors to, to come to our programs and, and train with us, we actually hold our program down at a private clinic in Rosarito Beach, Mexico, where we have taken many years to develop a clinic that is state of the art. We have a 3D CBCT machine. We have um, all the best equipment, all the best supplies. Everything comes from the United States and the doctors as well. And our patients also come from the United States. We have different ways that our patients will come to our program. Sometimes they'll drive themselves. Sometimes they will take a shuttle that um, will pick them up and take them down. There's a fee. This shuttle is a professional van service. So uh, they, uh, they charge a nominal fee to take you down to the clinic and bring you back. The clinic is uh, about 30 minutes over the border and it's usually a pretty seamless transportation process where you go down in the morning, you have your dental implants and you come home that same day. Going into Mexico is pretty straightforward. Coming out of Mexico is pretty straightforward. If you have a, um, a, a visa or a passport, um, that's usually the cleanest way to do it. It's usually the most simple. But if you have two forms of ID, we've had a good percentage of our patients um, come back into the United States through the uh, Border Patrol security with just a couple forms of ID. Don't let that um, be a, a deterrent to uh, par participating in the program. If you don't, if you don't have a passport, it, it's okay. In order to get qualified for the program, um, you need to offer us. You need to give us a three-dimensional CBCT scan. This is a three-dimensional X-ray that allows us to treatment plan your particular case, and we're able to see everything we need to see with this special 3D X-ray. Unfortunately, we can't take a two-dimensional x-ray. We can't take a, a, a pano or just a regular x-ray. We need to see the site that you'll be um, having your implant placed in, in three dimensions. So we know exactly what size implant. We also know, you know where your anatomy is so we can place the implant correctly for you. So that CBCT scan is a big part of this. And we're gonna need you to either send it to us uh, when you have the CBCT scan taken in a different office, uh, what we need is the DICOM files, D-I-C-O-M. It doesn't matter what machine you have the CBCT scan taken with, ask your imaging provider to provide the DICOM files. We take those DICOM files and then we can read your, your CBCT scan with, with a viewing software that we teach with. We don't care if it's on CareStream Care or Plan Mecca or iCat or whatever. Just make sure the DICOM files are included and we need that, if you're sending it to our office here in San Diego, we need it on a thumb drive or on a disc, all right? Because we'll take that with us down to our clinic. Once we get to our clinic, if we're not happy with something, we can also take a new CBCT scan, all right? So we're gonna make sure that we get the image that we need. That is pretty much what we need in order to uh, qualify you to be a good patient. We just wanna make sure that our doctors are able to treat you at a very high level. So if you're an advanced case, Unfortunately, we may not be able to treat you. We may uh, suggest that you go see a specialist because not every situation is a good fit for our doctors. The uh, only expense that you're going to have in order to have the, the, the surgical phase of this treatment is you're going to be responsible for the shuttle or getting yourself down there. You'll want to bring with yourself uh, like a little pack, a little lunch, because you're going to be down there for the day. Uh, when you come to our facility where we see patients, it's in a gated community. It's a beautiful little area. It's right on the ocean. And there will be a, a bed and breakfast where uh, your guests, anybody who comes down with you and, and you, We'll wait and relax until we come and get you and bring you over to our clinic, which currently has 10 chairs. 
we will obviously not see everybody you know right away so we do have patients that finish and then we will sterilize and clean the the, the sur surgical room and then we'll come and we'll bring uh we'll invite our next patient to come over and so that's how we treat the patients as the day goes along at the end of the day when everybody's done you'll uh, get back on the shuttle and you'll go home my office here in san diego we will be where you'll come if you need questions answered if you have a problem that you're um, concerned about if you uh, need stitches taken out a couple weeks after surgery we'll do that for you we'll help you with medications if you need that so we're kind of where you'll be able to um, seek treatment and have backup care once you're back in the united states and our office is, is also a um, an area where if you don't live in san diego if you live in Northern California or if you live out of state. And by the way, probably one third of our patients are from the San Diego area. Another third come from California in general, Northern California and, and north of us here in San Diego. And then another third will fly in from different states. And we get people from all over the country, uh, all over the East Coast. Um, you know, if you're having a lot of implants, you're gonna be able to save a significant amount. So we do have patients who fly in uh, to beautiful San Diego and then it can shuttle down with our patients. The, the shuttle will leave from uh, this office here in San Diego, my office, First Dental Care. We will take care of you before by screening. We will be with you while you have your surgery uh, down in Mexico. Uh, you'll be uh, in really good hands with our surgical teams and you will have good follow-up after you come home and uh, you'll either be seen uh, myself or you'll be seeing one of the other uh, three three other doctors. We actually, there's four of us who work here at Hearst Dental Care. So uh, any one of us can see you and make sure that you get the care that you need. So I will leave you with um, kind of reiterating that the, the implant is not the tooth, all right? The implant is the titanium fixture surgical grade titanium that goes into the bone and and it's underneath the gum tissue you don't see it all right so you still are responsible for putting teeth on top of those implants and there's different types of teeth you can have individual teeth if you're just you know replacing a missing tooth here or there um, if you're doing the all on four program all on four that is all the teeth there's usually 12 teeth on one prosthesis that fits on four implants. The four implants are like pillars and we're basically putting the teeth, think of like maybe putting a house on top of four pillars. That's what goes on the, the, the implants. We offer individual implants, so we also do the all on four program. And sometimes we'll do all on five, sometimes we'll do all on six. We like all on six. That's what we try to do for everybody. I'd rather have, you know, your prosthesis, which is 12 teeth, on six implants uh, if we can't do six due to bone restrictions then we'll only do five if we can't do five then we do four four is the, the the minimum if you're doing a full mouth or a full arch our goal is to help you transition from a failing dentition and by by the way uh, there's nothing better than your natural teeth nothing beats natural teeth all right we can't replace natural teeth but if your natural teeth are failing and they're, um, if you're spending a lot of money trying to restore them and they're not lasting, everything, everything in our bodies wears out, okay? Talk to somebody who's a little older. Knees go, hips go, and teeth go. So if you're at that stage, and sometimes it happens younger, sometimes it happens when you're older, but when your teeth are failing and you've tried restoring traditionally with general dentistry, and you're spending money and it's not lasting very long, then maybe it's time to look into implants. So that's when you want an educated uh, uh, professional opinion on whether or not it's time for you to transition into implants. And if, if, if it is time for you to do that, that's something that we can help you with and we can help you save. You know, you're probably gonna be saving about 50% over what it would cost you to do everything with, with one provider or with several providers here in the States. There's different types of teeth that we can put on the implant. So we'll maybe do another video about that. At the end of the day, 
we're, we're successful if you're if you're happy and the surgeries are a success there's nothing that we want more than to allow you to be the best version of yourself by you being the best version of yourself then you can live the quality of life that we want for you you know uh, we'll need to see your cbct scan that doesn't mean you're you're a good fit for our program if you are we'll welcome you with open arms if you're not we will let you know that you're an advanced case and if you're an advanced case we're really going to encourage you to go and get treated by a, an implant specialist so uh, we'll we'll make sure you're a good fit for for our program and then then we can invite you in and we'll we'll get all the logistics squared away as far as if you're going to be staying in Mexico, uh, if you're having a lot of work done, you'll probably have to come two days. So maybe you'll spend a night at one of the hotels close to our, our clinic. So that's where you'll talk to our front office and you'll get um, you know those logistics worked out. We're going to uh, come back with some other videos and uh, we welcome uh, comments. Hope to see you, our, our office and our our, our CII family. We uh, will welcome you here and we'll, we'll do our best for you. Okay, so take care.